it is Julia with Broadcast Sunny and I've never done a haul video and the reason is I usually don't buy big purchases or um, I guess they're more practical than um, most of the haul videos I've seen. Uh, however, this one is still practical and it's not a lot. However, that's the point of it. it I wanted something so I can paint and sketch and do whatever while traveling and I found it in this art toolkit and it is fabulous so uh, I got it in the mail and I was so excited that I thought I'd share it with you so the art toolkit and enjoy Waiting for this. So excited. So I got a custom one and I bought the case. And inside the case, I didn't get a book because I can camera decided to stop working okay so I don't usually do these package opening ones but I am so stoked about this one um, it if you buy the whole kit it comes with a journal with it but uh, I have so many journals that I didn't need one this is the bigger art kit the a5 a5 art toolkit. There's a smaller one, but happy painting! I'm guessing this is the order form of uh, the list of stuff I purchased. And this is the palette. This is freaking amazing I somebody told me about this and that's why I got it but this is the palette and then you put all your colors in here you can mix it here and it's like the size of a business card holder that's like freaking amazing That would go in here. You can get this with or without the kit. So they had a specialty one, a pink one, which I wanted to get, but it was not available. I also got two brushes from, uh, through them. Um, it's rosemary brushes, which I have with oil color. Wow, oh, how do you open it? There's no seam. I find that fascinating. It's completely enclosed. All right, so these are travel brushes. It says R4, but I, I can't remember the sizes I purchased one fourth inch but I forget what it is in I have to look it up oh because it, it's a wash brush I like the wash brush and so I have a full-size brush while traveling well short handle but still that needs to be cleaned off and unglued and then it's still protected when I'm traveling and I could slip that in here. I've got another one. This one is should be a filbert. And the I, I have other pink brushes to go in here. And as you can see, I can fit more. Oh, I wonder if my regular size brushes would fit in there. I'm going to have to check that out. Come on. Here. 
Yeah. Sweet. I forget what size that is, too. Eight. Okay. I think I need one bigger one. Then this is a water mister. So you fill this with water, and then you can mist your paints to keep them wet. Not to mention if you don't have water with you when you're... But I have a case that I can snap on that has water. This re is a refiller, so I could put water in here and then refill this with water easily. So that's exciting. These two come with the kit as well. These do not. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanted my own, make my own kit is to get my the stuff that I would I know I would use. So this um, is, and I found okay. So this goes around, but it's X shape. So I could take something like this and stick it in there, maybe like this, and it stays put. And I could travel um, with just these two if I wanted to. I could probably stick a, a paintbrush in there too. Can I? Yeah. And I could just take that if I wanted to. And that's why I got one of them if I really wanted to pare down, be a minimalist. Sometimes out in the field you do want to do. And then lastly, this baby does not come with the kit either. But they're white pens. And I got this because they're different sizes too. That's a 5, uh, that's a 10. 5, uh, 8, and 10. But I got this because, I mean, with watercolors, oftentimes, um, I don't really like this one, so I'll do this. You, to get a little highlight in, see how that, that's nice. Instead of trying to get, I do have white watercolor paint, or you can use gouache, but I wanted, uh, when I saw these pens, that they were selling, I went, oh, that's genius. That would be so much easier. Oh, and it has a pocket here. All right, I'm gonna go run and get my paintbrush and see if it fits in there. Fingers crossed, I'll be right back. All right, so this is how I've been traveling with my um, watercolor paintbrushes in a bamboo <coughs> mat. <coughs> this one was a sushi mat. Uh, and then, yeah, look at that. Now it's not as protected. That's what I liked about these is it has a, so if it bends, but you're up against this, so it should be fine. Maybe I'll bring a brush or two. I don't need all these pens. Anyway, that is the artist toolkit. So what you do is zip it up, throw it in your suitcase, and you're ready to paint anywhere. Oh, this is nice. I can make it into a purse if I wanted to, I guess. Or strap it to something. But this is a nice size. I forget. Let me see if I have a ruler here. All right, so it's 11 by just shy of seven. And then it's about an inch height or depth. I don't know what you want to call it. It's 11 by seven. This is, like I said, the big art one. And actually everything that's in here it's more than enough that I need to go painting. Ah, uh, 
The only thing I think I would bring that I don't have uh, with me right at the moment is a um, mini clip that I can clip the paper down, uh, you know, from the wind, and I can paint. That would be the only thing I could consider getting other than. But I'm excited to use this. I am going away next month and I'll test it out and I should do a review. But um, I expect great things. Oh, and I would have to put it. The only thing I, I'm not crazy about is I wish, can it fit? Yeah, see, all right, it could fit two pens. Because I have a bunch of different size pens and brush pens that I like to use. But I can, if I can fit two pens per pouch, that'll work. See how the brush is curving up? Because this isn't inside it. That's why I do want to get another travel brush. Can these two fit? Yeah. That's nice. So I'll, I would probably get uh, another brush or two, travel brush or two. And then, um, yeah, all is well in the world. I am stoked because I have taken my watercolor kit in the, the suitcase before and I end up having it, you know, pieces like I have this is separate from this and then I have a pouch with the pens and the pencils and and then you have the palette and my palette's separate too and I have a little purse that I can put the or, or pouch that I put the anyway this has everything that I need and I don't have to worry about this is freaking amazing I am curious how this will work See how all the colors you can fit in here? And actually, I didn't do this, but you can buy these tins that is double, like two little ones can go in here. Oh, and that's magnetic. Oh, clever, clever on them. Clever, genius. So I'm excited to use the arttoolkit.com. No, they're not paying me. It's I saw it at uh, a watercolor workshop I went to, um, and was stoked about it because I'm looking forward to traveling more. The end.